Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, just wanted to add a little bit about a feature we talked about in the past, and a lot of people have a hard time with this feature. A lot of people, um, you know, saying, oh, the video doesn't explain anything, it doesn't work, I don't see nothing. And I explain a lot of why you might not see a lot of things in there. We talked about casting to other devices and TVs. And one of the things that happened is a lot of people are like, well, I don't see any casting option and I don't have, um, and there's no way for me to cast my device to a, you know, another PC and so on. And the thing is, is that casting uh, comes at different levels. So for example, in the system settings, there is an option to connect to a wireless display. These are part of the options that you can actually use. And what happens is connect to a wireless display, um, you have to detect other displays. And for that, you need to know what are the displays that are compatible around you. It's extremely important to understand that this uses different types of technology, but one of the major technologies that these devices need to be on the same network that you are. That is one first new thing. Not every display is compatible with this. So for example, my Samsung 7 series display 65 inch is compatible with it. I would be able to use it and cast to it. Also, there is a different way of casting and one of them is with Chrome. Google Chrome has its own way of casting a screen. So you can right click on any page, click cast, you'll see devices that are available or not. And if they are um, devices that might not be compatible with everything, for example, my TV, uh, my Samsung TV is compatible only for specific video sites. So for example, YouTube, so it's very important. Your TV needs to have the technologies first that are available for casting. They need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. That also is important because without that, they won't connect. The other thing is you have to get a very good solid connection. Your devices need to have, and for casting, most of the time for a smooth casting experience when you're on your Wi-Fi better be on 5G or 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi which is not 5G but 5 gigahertz it's extremely important if you're not on a 5 gigahertz network if you're on 2.4 it might not work very very well and of course you can project um, PC screen duplicate extend or second screen only you choose what you want to do if there is a compatible uh, display that can actually be used with your devices. If your devices don't show up here, either you're not connected to the same Wi-Fi network correctly, or either your devices are not compatible to do so. You don't see anything here. It's not because the video is not good. That's what a lot of people, you know, think. Also, well, you know, it doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. Yes, it does. It's your devices that are not compatible. That's all. There are different technologies like Miracast and so on. Without these technologies, um, your smart screen TV might not even be compatible with you know, the ability of casting wirelessly to it. And of course, last but not least, the distance. Your TV, your computers are far from the router. It'll never work well. It'll often disconnect, often have problems. Also, that is a possibility. Remember also that your smart TV, if you are able to cast to it, if it's not working right, make sure that you look at firmware updates for your smart TV. It could be a glitch in the smart TV itself that if you update the firmware or the software in it, it might actually work better after. So these are all little things to check out. But rule number one, connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Rule number two, five gigahertz if possible. Rule number three, Make sure the device is compatible. It won't show up if it's not. And it's not always compatible with everything. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.